Good evening and welcome back once again. I hope you did watch the last video where we were a 3-0 winner against Real Madrid. Yes, that is Real Madrid. That was in the Copa del Rey. Fantastic performance. Really tough sort of first 20-25 minutes but came through in the end. Absolutely brilliant. Couldn't uh, expect any better performances than we than we put in. Just really looking forward to the semi-final now but we're going to continue in the league for now. We're away to Real Oviedo. I know we have got one suspension which is Kovacevic because he got a red card in the previous league match but other than that we should be pretty much at full strength. And like I said at the end of the last video we have brought in a youth keeper and we're actually going to start him today to give Schubert a bit of a rest. He's obviously played every single game since joining. I think it's just good that we've got that backup keeper. So we're going to play him in this one. It's not the most important match in terms of, you know, we've got a massive lead in the league, so we can take a little bit of risk putting him in. We're going to drop Herrera down to defensive midfield to keep Arcas in, put him in centre midfield. He's on that upward flashing colour, which means he's improving rapidly. So you want to play them as much as possible when they're in that form. And like I said, Kavazovic is suspended, so he can't play. But we have got our first choice uh, partnership in defence. And it is good to be back in the league after that excitement and stress of playing Real Madrid. Please go back and watch it if you haven't. Uh, it was a fantastic performance. But I'm really excited to get into Division... To... God, I can get my words out. Really excited to get into Division 1 eventually. Hopefully... We're not going to mess things up and it will be in our first chance uh, this season. We've got an 18 point lead I believe it is. So even with the odd slip up or the odd draw here and there which you know I still want to win every game but it wouldn't be the end of the world if we do drop points anywhere. It'll just be interesting to see like a higher quality, higher quality of opposition every match. Okay you're not going to play Real Madrid all the time but the quality of all is going to be massively different. So yeah, just looking forward to that. And the front three were amazing in the last match. Now Xerxes got man of the match himself. But Perez and Mudrik were fantastic. Very, Vieira was a little bit off. He wasn't poor, but he just, you know, wasn't the best. Um. And Herrera's back in starting. He did come on as a sub just to sure things up in the last match. Now Mudrik. Took share out with a bit of a poor touch. Lovely ball. Oh, good save. A quick fire ball from Mudrik after Took share lost it. Lovely first touch. Hits it on target. The keeper didn't know too much about it. It's about as best as it he could have done from that angle and range. Vieira, Mudrig. Ah, oh, it's blocked. Mudrik again. Vieira. 1 0. Well, he certainly made up for it already. In the last match, he was a little bit absent. I mean, he was playing a ridiculously good midfield of Real Madrid. So, you know, like the Mod Modric, etc. Tony Cruz. Um, it was always going to be difficult, but he's off the mark already. Really nice finish. It deflected a little bit. So the keeper was a little bit unlucky, I would say. What a star he's been, though, Fabio Vieira. Since we bought him, I would say... I don't think anyone's had as much of an impact until we bought Mudrik, who was unbelievable in his first few games, and still is. Um, oof, that would have been a brilliant goal. But as soon as we bought Vieira, he was just pure class. You could see see and feel the difference. Um, you know, he came along around about the same time as Herrera and then Schubert. And they've all done really well. Um, but Vieira, I would say, is probably the star 
of the first buys. Oh, lovely play there. Oh, the keeper, again, almost just got on the way. Nice ball. Arcas gets on it. Nice first touch. Not sure if it was 100% intentional. But um, get another corner. Now contact share put a decent ball in. You can. Oh, that was a clever little uh, attempt at a finish. 2-0. Gets in that time. I, uh, I'm not sure what that trophy's for, the goal hunter. Um, look at that attempt at a finish, though. A little cheeky flick. I wish they had gone in. But he gets back in the middle. Nice little pass from Xerxes and slots it away. Nice finish. Yeah, just you, just the, the difference in the opposition between Real Madrid in this match against Real Oviedo, it seems pretty obvious, but it just it just feels so different. Um, it felt like when I played Real Madrid, someone hadn't put up the difficulty like two two settings or something, um, at least in those first 20 minutes until I got a little bit used to it. Here's Mudrik. Oof, again, don't know how he blocked that, but never mind. Look at how high his foot gets in this block. It's like a bloody gymnast or something. What's going on? If you see it, you can't really tell from there, but. Do we maybe want. No, we'll keep Fiera taking the corners. Oh, nearly got in there. Mudrick. And again, they somehow blocked it when it shouldn't be possible. Sorry if you can hear some noise there. Xerxes, good save and a good block. Although it might have come off me last. Tower and headed, but pretty much straight at the keeper. Yeah, that'll be a, a goal kick. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it's the only bad thing about um, recording is my place is... It's a little bit... It's, well... It's a bit noisy. Hasn't got very good soundproofing my, my place. And the the living room where I, I record, the the window of the living room, it sits right on the, on the main road. I don't have a front garden or anything, so there's not really any barrier... Um, so when there's people walking past and talking and being loud like um, especially like on Fridays and Saturdays when people are out for a drink and you know what it's like if you've had a few drinks you're pretty loud it's um, it's a bit difficult to record sometimes I do try and record a bit later at night just to avoid sort of foot traffic if I can it's not always possible Nice ball to Arcas. Good block there. Wonderful pass though. Good tag off from Vieira. Six, he could be in here. Share it. I didn't actually mean to do the low cross there. Herrera. Ooh. Just arrowed wide. The keeper did not react. I don't know if he was unsighted. But nice layoff. Snapshot. And the keeper was well beaten there.
It's a foul. Yeah, played on though. Bit unlucky for them, to be honest. That was poor. I was going to let that go out, but... Uh, Anyway, it's half time. Comfortable first half, I would say. And the stats confirm that. 62% possession. 11 shots with 8 being on target. I think they had one... Yeah, I mean, they had one shot which was, like, well wide, but it was a well worked move. Just more of the same in the second half, hopefully. And so far, the, the youth keeper, he hasn't had anything to do. It's probably good for him. Um been very dominant can we get that third killer goal though Vieira, oh that's well wide with his right foot maybe should have taken a touch but you haven't got much room to manoeuvre in here, you know you take one touch and the defence close in, no I think that was probably the right option but it was just a poor finish that was all Nice tackle and then one back again. Oh, nice little ball to Herrera. No Texera. Oh, just a little bit too close ski, but not a bad effort. You know, you want to get it in that just on the edge of that sort of six yard area or in between the six yard area and the penalty spot <sighs> well the keeper maybe should have come out there the defence didn't do anything but we uh, got away with it Keep forgetting it's not shoe, but you know, I'm so used to them playing every single match. What a pass that was from Vieira! Wow, Perez. Oh, what a finish! What a well worked team goal that was. Vieira with the pass out wide was sublime. Play comes back in the middle. Eventually works his way to Herrera, who puts in a really nice pass here. And Perez just curls it on the keeper. Lovely. Really good team goal, that. Lovely finish, though. We'll make some subs for the next uh, well, the next time the ball goes out. So sub-wise, I brought him chair for Perez. I've took off Xerxy and I'm going to put Arcas up top. And where Arcas was, I'm going to put uh, Harrington. And we're going to replace the left-back to Shara with Caulfield just to give him a bit of rest. He's looking a little bit out on his legs at the moment. And of course, those subs will come within the, uh, the next time the ball goes out. I should have made it really before the... Oh my word, what was that? What happened there? Oh, lovely pass though. That should go out. Nope. Of course I want to make the subs now and the ball's not going out. Nice ball there. Ah, that was poor. 
well I say poor it was a difficult pass to pull off um, this ball is Uxie again Madrid nearly gets in there Vieira and okay we've got a free kick apparently and we made the subs which is good now do we want to try a goal here this is a long way stuff it let's go for it oh well over nowhere near Shares first touch and he loses it. Lovely tackle by Cosnu. Bajer loses it again. Not a good start. He's nearly lost it again and gets fouled. God, they want him quickly on there. Yeah, oh, <laughs> Mudrick got in there. Well, Bashir nearly lost the ball three times already, and then he nearly scores. So he won't get an assist, unfortunately, because the keeper saved it. But uh, nice little turn and shot, good save actually, and Mudrick gets the tap in. I think Cher's only 68 rated, from what I remember. But I do think that um, he plays a lot better than that. Not on the evidence so far with losing the ball a few times, but that can happen. Um, that's a poor ball. Nice interception from Kosinu. Poor pass, though. He's been a, a really good find, though. Good save from the youngster. Really good save. I brought him out to close down the angle a bit. Very good. Be great if he can keep a clean sheet in his uh, first ever match. Good defending there. Well played by Bajen. Kosanu on the charge now. Ah, he was trying to play Mudrik. Very ambitious, ambitious even. But now Mudrik is free. Bajer, oh my word. Oh, he's had a stinker since coming on. Mudrik, very unselfish, plays it back to Bajer. And how has he missed that? Yes, exactly. It's just as well it doesn't really count for anything in terms of how the match is going. You know, we've tied up the game a long time ago. seen much of Harrington yet either it's a nice pass though oh Nick Arcos nearly got in there Bajer in though Bajer and he has scored he has had a terrible time since coming on but 
93rd minute and he gets a goal. That's all that's going to matter when you look at the stats. That's 5-0 now. Good tackle. And a calm finish. And I bet you anything his rating is probably going to go what up to like a 6.5 or something. When in reality, apart from that goal, it's hard to it's hard to say. You can't really get a, a a really bad rating if you've scored, but he probably deserves a five. Um, but that's just about it. Nice block there, and there it is, five nil. Perez with a double. Major conveyor with the others, and then Bajer right at the end. 62% possession, that's about standard for us now. We're normally hovering somewhere between, I want to say 57, 58, sort of 61, 62. It's about our standard. Pass-wise, we normally have about 120 to 140. Massive 19 shots with 13 on target. Perez, man of the match, not surprised with those two goals. And Bajer, yep, I'm right, got a 6.5, even though he uh, had a bit of a stinker before scoring. But like I said, you get a goal, it can change everything. And just to let you know, we have actually received a bid in for Hetic at 5 million, exactly at his market value. Now, he has got a release fee for not much over that. We're actually going to accept it. He's only 24, so it's not like he's old or anything, but his stats are pretty much all in the reds. You might as well say he's not going to improve. The transfer is not going to go through until the summer, so we're not going to lose him now. We've still got Rice as well. We've got the like the youngsters, the likes of Castle Dean and Houghton that are coming through. Yes, it's not in that defensive midfield position, but we've got a cover in midfield. Herrera could potentially drop deeper. And we could also have a look at the youth team to get a potentially long-term, a better replacement in. So we're going to accept that. It will increase the salary budget by, I think it's 175000 Yeah, it is. We're just going to accept that now. Like I say, that won't go through until I think it's like July 31st or August 1st. Oh no, 1st of July. But thank you very much for joining once again. Please leave a like and comment down below if you can. Subscribe if you want to keep up to date with the channel. And please join us next time where we're at home to Ibar. Really looking forward to seeing how this season will get on. Nearly the end of the month, so we will do a stats roundup in the next episode after that match. Just to see who's been our best players and our best performers this month. I'll see you all next time. Cheers.